Hello kittens, it's tea time with Frugal Mummy. I'm thinking about doing this as a regular thing. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what you think. Tell me what you think. And I'm doing it for several reasons. One is I'm finding now that I'm home all the time since I quit my job, I'm running myself fairly ragged all day, every day. There's just so much to do in a house this size and now the weather's getting better, so we're gonna be outside a lot, working on the garden and the yard. And you might not think I'd be that type, but I really am just like run, run, run all day long because there's so much to do, and, um, and I just keep doing it. I just jump from one thing to another. I have my coffee in the morning, but otherwise, like I haven't eaten all day. I'm about to spill it. I haven't eaten all day. Probably good to get the cat hair out. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice to just force myself to take a break at some point in the afternoon just sit down, have a cup of tea, just relax, collect my thoughts, and then I can go back to painting and cleaning and wood fillering and cooking and fixing and putting dolls away and all the other various things that eat up a day. And also, I want to become more of a tea drinker. I like tea, but I don't love tea. But I want to love tea. I want to be the kind of person who loves tea. I want to be a tea person. I like the idea of tea and I want to love tea. So anyway, I thought, well, if I force myself to sit down and have a cup of tea, then I'm going to learn to love it more and develop a taste for it and try different kinds of tea. And then I thought it would be a chance for us to chat. And it might not be all about like, oh, how to save money and how to balance your checkbook and that kind of stuff. It might just be whatever the hell I want to talk about at a given moment. I was hoping that maybe we could just come together. Like you too should sit down and have a cup of tea with me. I'll wait. I'll wait. Go get your tea. You can have coffee if you want. to run past y'all. Some ideas I have for the freaking frugal channel and the freaking frugal world and I don't know if y'all know this about me because you didn't know I run myself ragged all day but I do. I am very anti-technology in general. I know it seems I'm so technologically savvy but no I'm not and I'm really not into it. You don't even know the arguments frugal daddy and I had about switching me from a blackberry to um a phone that, you know, screen, I did not want that. My feeling generally is if we had it in 1965, I'm okay with it. Like, I'm okay with radio and television and cars and dishwashers. I'm okay with all of that. But a lot of this other technology, just not my cup of tea. But I was thinking, okay, for the sake of the freaking frugal world, should I embrace technology? By which I mean social media. I'm not on any social media. Every now and then, people say, are you on Facebook? And the answer is no, because I'm not. And, and then I wonder, okay, maybe I should go on social media. That's my question. Should I go on social media? Is it even worth my trouble? Like, do any of you all go on social media? And if I was on Facebook, if I was on Instagram and Twitter, neither of which I actually understand, I really don't know what they are. You guys go on those things? Would you follow me? I, I really don't understand what they are. My understanding, I kinda know what Facebook is, kinda. My understanding with Twitter is you just say things. It's a tweet. You just say something, right? Is that all it is? It's not a picture, it's just, I said this. And I can do that. I always have something interesting to say. I could do frugal tip of the day. I mean, there'd be a lot of pressure then to come up with one every day. I might repeat myself, but if that's what Twitter is, I could do that. And then Instagram. Help me here, people. What is that? You put pictures out, people follow you on Instagram? So, so uh, why would people want to do that? I don't know. I, I, I don't understand. I would just put pictures with like a little caption. Hey, here's frugal mommy and the babies doing dishes. Follow us.
that's on Instagram. I don't get that. Like, uh, I'm not sure. What would I, what would I put? What would you want to see? I don't understand. Somebody tell me. Clearly, my lack of understanding might not give you the interest and confidence needed to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to follow you there. Clearly, Instagram's going to be a big success for you. So, should I branch out into those areas? My other question for you, as we sit here chatting, I've been thinking about some other ways to try to make money, anti-capitalist though I am. All right, let's not get into the capitalism thing. I'm just saying I want a world where poor people and the vulnerable are taken care of, okay? Is that so much to hope for? Apparently so. I, I actually do need to make money. I mean, electricity costs money. My mortgage costs money. The bank wants money from me. And they want money from me three times in April. Let's talk about that for a sec. So we pay our mortgage bi-weekly. That means every two weeks instead of monthly. And if you pay bi-weekly instead of monthly, in the course of a year, you have a whole extra month's mortgage payment going. You have two extra half payments. It's just like when you get paid bi-weekly, if you're a salaried person, you know there are gonna be two months each year where you're getting three paychecks instead of two paychecks. Well, it's the same if you pay your mortgage bi-weekly. There are gonna be two months a year where you're making three mortgage payments instead of two. And I really didn't realize that April's gonna be one of those months for me, but it is because April 1st is on a Monday and that's my first mortgage payment of the month and then I'll have one on the 15th and then one on the 29th. Yes, I have three mortgage payments in April and we need to figure out how we're gonna make those three payments. So, I was trying to think of ways to make more money. There's only so much plasma you can sell people. And I am really hoping for a beautiful, mild, lovely April where we won't need heat. I've been thinking a few months now about selling stuff on Etsy. Because I was doing a lot of knitting and I, I had a lot of um, extra yarn and I was making scarves. I made some scarves for the kids. We have a lot of scarves. So I thought, ooh, maybe I should sell scarves on Etsy. But then I thought, who the hell would want to buy my knitted scarf on Etsy? Like, they're very basic looking. Just, it's, it's just, it's just rows and rows of knitting. It's not even knit a row, purl a row, knit a row, purl a row. Because if you do that, the edges curl under. And if you want it to lay flat, you have to knit every row. You know, and they're nice warm scarves, but I just think, how much could you charge to make it worth the time of knitting it that someone's going to really want to pay for a scarf? And anything else I could knit that I could sell like a sweater just takes way too much time given the amount of money you're going to get. That's the problem with a lot of handcrafts. You put so much time into them, you just can't get the money that your time is worth. And I've thought of other things to sell on Etsy, other little handcrafty projects I've thought about, kicking, kicking various ideas around. But then I thought, anybody who's going to want to buy anything from me is going to be from this channel. I'm not going to just have random schmandom people find me on Etsy and say, oh yeah, I really want one of those scarves. So I thought, well, why even go through Etsy? Because I'm sure Etsy takes some of the money, right? Don't they? I'm assuming they do, like eBay does. So if I'm going to sell anything, I should just do it through this channel, right? Not that I want to be a channel that's always saying, and please buy this. But I might have to do that at the very end of every video. Go, and I just, I just knitted this tea cozy. Do you want to buy it? I don't know. Would that be tacky? Would that, would that be tacky? Asks the dumpster diver. Would that really, would that bring my channel down to a level we don't approve of? Should I try to sell like freaking frugal merchandise? Would anybody want something that says freaking frugal on it? Or like a t-shirt that says dumpster divers do it deeper. Get the sexual innuendo? Ooh. I think it would be less expensive for everybody all around to sell it directly from here. Or I could have just a website. I wanted to have a blog type website. I, I just can never really figure out how to, to get it going. And I have asked Rural Daddy for help and because I could post recipes on that, you know, for the stuff I make that I don't follow a recipe for and just put up pictures of myself every day, like on Instagram. Here I am. I do paint things like this. 
if this is a growth stick, you know, where your child stands next to it, you measure off how tall they were on a certain date. And this one has a sports theme. See, we have the basketball, huh, ice hockey, soccer. Over the years, I've painted a lot of things like that. I've painted a lot of piggy banks, you know, these plain white ceramic piggy banks with a child's name and then we put either a sports theme on or the ballet theme or flowers or a Winnie the Pooh theme or the choo-choo train theme or you know the various themes Noah's Ark you know that people do for their kids bedrooms and I've sold those over the years I used to paint those for a toy store when my older daughter was little what do you think people what do you think would it degrade the super classiness of my frugal dumpster diving channel if I try to sell things. I just need to find a way to make some money. I am planning, finally, as the weather's getting better, to have the yard sale that I was talking about last fall that I swore I was going to have. But it got postponed last fall, and, you know, I can't control the weather. I can control oh so many things, but not the weather. And we kept having bad, cold, rainy Saturday after Saturday after Saturday, so we kept postponing the yard sale. Anyway, now that we're coming into spring, I'm thinking, okay, finally we can do the yard sale. Now, most of the stuff I had planned to sell last fall, it's gone. I donated it. I just was not going to keep it laying around all winter. And pretty much every week we have the Vietnam Vets of America donation people come to the house and they pick up a big donation that we just leave, you know, on the front porch and off it goes. But I'm thinking, okay, in the next few weeks, as I'm sorting through, as I'm always sorting and organizing, whatever I find that I'm thinking, eh, we don't necessarily need. We could try to sell in the yard sale. Now, that's not going to be enough for a mortgage payment, but might cover the electric bill for a couple months. We'll see. I mean, every little penny helps. Here's another idea of something I can make that I was thinking of. Cat toys. I have some catnip already, and I have the seeds to grow catnip this year in the garden, our own organic catnip. So I thought, okay, take the dried catnip, and I could make little cat toys that are shaped like a little mouse, because you know how cats like mice. And, I don't know, maybe sell three little fabric mice stuffed with a little cotton and catnip for maybe three for five dollars, something like that, as cat toys. Would people want that as a cat toy? Ah, another thing I was thinking, which is, this is not a money-making thing, but let me know what you think of this also. Frugal Daddy and I went live once, and, you know, it was, um, you know, not massively successful. One person did say it was the best, worst live video presentation they'd ever seen. Thank you for bringing me the mail, honey, in the middle of my video. We were sitting on the bed, and we had the laptop sitting on our laps, and it was moving around a lot. We were laughing. I was just too excited. I was so excited to see people's names popping up in their comments and stuff, and it really did not go quite as planned. But I was saying to him this morning, I was saying, Gunther, do you think we should try to go live a little bit more often? I mean, I don't want to just sit there myself just staring at the screen trying to respond to people's comments. I would need you sitting there reading the comments so I could respond. We could talk about it together. We could maybe be doing something at the same time. I don't know what. Cooking something, eating something, drinking tea, peeling apples. I don't know. But should we try to go live? Is that, is that, would that be a good thing? Do you want that? All right, I'll finish with my tea. Back to work. Thank you for joining me. Should we do this again? Should we have tea once a week together? Would that be nice? I wish a lot of you were my neighbors and you could come and hang out with me and have a cuppa. Well, thanks for joining. It was fun. Talk to you later.